According to the internet, all modern music sucks, but we beg to differ. There is plenty of modern music that is not only good, but great too. You just have to know where to look. This is TJR and please join Robert Kinsler and myself as we discuss two new albums that prove that music is still good. Hey everybody, this is TJR. And this is Robert Kinsler. And welcome to another episode of Music Is Still Good. This is the series where Robert and I discuss a modern music album that proves that new music is still good. How are you doing, Robert? Hey, I'm doing good, TJ. How about you? Doing good. Doing good. Thank you. Uh, so today, we are going to discuss the albums Palomino by First Aid Kit and Third Secret by Third Secret. I'll hand it off to you, Robert. Well, sounds good, TJ. Well, I'm very excited uh, to talk about the latest album from First Aid Kit. Um, and uh, that album is, as you noted, is titled Palomino. And uh, this is uh, the sisters' fifth studio album. And uh, sisters Clara and Johanna Soderberg recorded, at, well, they wrote and recorded this album, uh, which is 11 tracks in their home country of Sweden. Um, and the duo's shining harmonies and bewitching songcraft um, shine across the album with uh, the sweeping ready to run soaring title track laurel canyon flavored turning onto you i've been afraid all of my life crippled with anxiety shame and doubt and sometimes and romantic the last one among the gems that showcase their artistry um a couple other songs i want to call out here the the gorgeous 29 palms highway and Yearning Angel, uh, the latter featuring a truly unforgettable chorus, are just other standouts on this great album. Uh, and I just can't say enough good things about um, Palomino and First Aid Kit. Fell in love with a dream, I guess, but I'm hoping we'll pass the test. Oh, I can help it, I confess I'm turned. I know you've been a fan of them for a while. For any viewers out there who may not be familiar with them, I know you mentioned the reference Laurel, the Laurel Canyon sound, which a lot of people, uh, hopefully they know to associate that with uh, groups like Crosby, Stills and Nash, Joni Mitchell, Linda uh, Ronstadt, uh, Linda Ronstadt, James Taylor. Yeah. there you go, James Taylor. So just wanted to kind of, yeah, kind of bring some of that out. I know you mentioned that influence, but just for our viewers out there, uh, just to kind of help them understand what style of music uh, we're talking about here. Uh, yeah, anything else you'd want to add to that? Yeah, I was going to say, TJ, it's pretty amazing. They're, they are from Sweden. As far as I know, they still live in Sweden. They are, um, as you know, I've seen so many great Americana groups uh, over the last 20 years. They are among the best modern day proponents of kind of Americana music, even though they're not from... <laughs> North America, you know, they're not from Canada, yeah. they're not from the United States, and they are in the majority of their songs are in English too. And uh, I, I'm just a huge fan. I've seen them several times, and and just can't be more excited by this album. Good. I just want to put that out there. Um, now, for me, I listen to this album, and I'll have to be honest. This album took a little time for me. I wasn't immediately won over. Uh, the opening track which was uh, didn't really capture me but starting with track two with angel um i kind of started to move a little more towards the album i wanted to enjoy track two because i love the sentiment of the lyrics but i felt it was hitting me a little too hard over the head but by track three and track four i felt like the album got better and then settled into this very warm kind of atmospheric place that I found myself mostly enjoying for the rest of it. So it took a couple of tracks in before I really started to, to get to like the album. But after that, I found myself enjoying it. I would like to ask who you'd recommend this to. You know, I would say some of the artists that we noted, maybe from Laurel Canyon, but like uh, uh, Amy Lou Harris comes to mind, the Cow Sills, who aren't very really well known, but if people know who they are, uh, perhaps um, just some of the, the modern day Americana artists that have female uh, lead singers and also 
groups where um, sister harmonies are in play. I think that those are all people that might want to give this a listen. Cool. So um, I'm going to go ahead here and discuss my album, uh, which came out, uh, let's see, back uh, last year. Kind of, It was just a surprise that it was released the way it was. Uh, this is Third Secret by the band Third Secret. And this band um, combines both the Celtic influences of Led Zeppelin and the doom and drone of Black Sabbath and um, features members of Nirvana, Soundgarden, and Pearl Jam. So real quick, I'm going to go over the lineup here. The band's lineup includes bass guitarist and accordionist Chris Novoselic of Nirvana, drummer Matt Cameron of Pearl Jam, hopefully I've said that correctly, and Soundgarden guitarist Kim Thale. Um, also included is John Bubba Dupree of Void, and then vocalists, they have two female vocalists, Jillian Ray and Jennifer Johnson. The dual female voices give this album a truly unique feel for music in this genre. And we're, of course, talking the whole Seattle 90s grunge scene uh, that three members of this band were instrument, an instrumental part of uh, getting together and doing this. And the fact that this was just released, just it was just a digital drop back in 2022. No physical album, no CD, no vinyl, which is a shame because I would love to own a copy of this album. So for now, I have to be just content with streaming it on Tidal. But I really hope they would release this. I mean, I've, I really hope they'll release it on CD or vinyl so I can pick up a real a physical copy. It just it doesn't feel like I own it yet. Like it's, you know, I just I just really want that. But I mean, aside from that, great songs. I mean, it feels like not a retread of 90s grunge rock, but a continuation. Lift me up. On their website, they did announce that they had plans to get together and record another album um, with some kind of weird cryptic hints that maybe they might do it under a different band name other than Third Secret, which is like a weird thing to me, to each their own, I guess. But I, I would I would think it'd be better just to keep the name. Um, but they stated on their website that they have about half an album of songs already existing, which need to be recorded properly. And if this is true, I hope this does happen. Uh, but anyways, though, yeah. Great, great rock album. Yeah. You know, I, I really like what, you know, I haven't got to probably immerse myself in the album as, as much as you have, TJ, but I really like the dual female vocals. And like you said, in this genre of music, uh, that track, Somewhere in Time, reminds me a bit of the early work of Garbage, which okay. and I'm a huge Garbage fan. And the yeah. band's sound conjures up the best rock stylings of the 1990s. Um, so, and I know we've kind of cut, danced around it, but who would you recommend this album to, TJ? Yeah. Well, there's, it's just obvious who I would recommend this to. I would recommend this album to anyone who misses 90s rock and all the great bands that came out of that scene. Anybody who misses that time period. I, I talk to people all the time who, and especially in my age range, they say the 90s was the last great, you know, uh, you know, brouhaha for rock, for heavy rock music. and I kind of have to, it, it was the last time that rock was kind of at the forefront of the mainstream, I would have to say. Since then, it's not part of the mainstream like it once was, but that was kind of its last mainstream hurrah. And I have to kind of agree with that, even though I know good music is coming out every week, as you and I will continue to talk about here on this series. Right. But yeah. So definitely check that one out. Go to your favorite streaming service. It's also can be streamed on YouTube. So that covers it for this edition. Uh, music is still good let us know if you've heard these albums leave us a comment if you have let us know if you're thinking or considering listening to them and what have you heard lately that you want to recommend you never know we might feature it in a future segment of music is still good and everybody thank you for watching um if you don't know this already please do all the youtube things hit like hit subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so you never miss a video and a big thank you to the patron supporters uh, who help us make more videos. Patron supporters do receive exclusive weekly videos every week.
that are not available here on the channel. If you can't be a patron supporter, we understand. There is a super thanks button on the bottom here of each video that you can click now and make a one-time donation if you feel like doing that. And if you do, please leave us a comment so we can thank you and thank you. And uh, anyways, though, everybody, aside from that, thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye. See you later, everyone.